quiet and uh with all this quarantine into a thing of pure adventure and fantasy are a pain in my behind uh as we started building a little uh in the mountain which I've already messed with a little bit as one can tell there's not really much that you can see on the outside ah for all my viewers out there all one of them uh that right there is my girlfriend uh hopefully one day my wife uh she is my favorite human being and I love her with all my heart and soul uh continuing on uh, there's a lot in this world that I find incredibly interesting. Uh, this mountain obviously being the focus. But also, there's a village right there. There's a lot of stuff biome-wise around here as well. Uh, and just in general, this place looks really good. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me, that's my phone. And that's a dungeon. Huh. I guess. Not even, not even a minute in, and she's already uh, referencing Tobuscus. Good guy, good guy. Uh, but another thing that I like about this place <clears throat> is this massive, like, river. First of all, a lot can be traveled here, uh, which could add for more little fantasy elements. Just this whole place in general seems really interesting. Uh, and I'm really excited to get started. So, anyway, I've, uh, I've shown, I've shown the outskirts. Let's, uh, let's get in here. So, needless to say, first floor, kinda, kinda bland. You know, haven't really done anything special with it. But, what is going to be done is I'm going to go with a, excuse me, with a, uh, with a kind of, alrighty, well I will definitely keep that in mind. Thank you, Ed Cromer. Ed Cromer. She is my dream. Uh, but, uh, what I'm going to do is I plan on making I plan on making a few floors each based around a fantasy element so this top floor uh, is going to be based also ignore the crazy lights I'm gonna change that later uh, the top floor is gonna be like enchantment uh, potion and knowledge related so, which is why I've appropriately named this place the Hall of the Enchanted. Uh, there's a lot going on in here, uh, and I'm really excited for my little brother. I should explain, he's seven, uh, and I'm in the middle of going into like D&D level nonsense for the sake of seeing him smile. Uh, but the idea is you'll come up here, there will be a ladder here later, the idea is that you'll come up here and there's going to be uh, three different rooms. This room right here is going to be the library. Out here is going to lead into like a small enchantment room, which I may actually start outlining some of the stuff. And then this is going to be like the potion room. All of these things pretty much are going to connect uh, with very with this little hallway being uh, the only outside factor. So I guess I'm guessing the first thing that we should probably do is I should probably start getting rid of the uh, the nonsense on the walls. In fact, I should probably just cover the entire area with, uh, I should probably just cover the entire area <clears throat> with, uh, smooth stone. 
that's another thing that's going to be present, is I'm going to change... Every, every floor is going to have its own sort of, like, theme. Uh, theme isn't the right word. The, the right word would more, would more importantly be, uh, a different style. So, as you can see, the floor that I've got here is like the, the chiseled stone brick. I think it's chiseled stone brick. Um... And my plan is to have the wall, very similarly to this, be made out of stone, uh, s smooth stone. So here's hoping I don't accidentally dig outside of, uh, out of bounds, because I very carefully measured this thing. Uh, but if I do, uh, I'm the only one here, so... I can very easily patch it back up, and no one will be the wiser. Long story short, my main goal with this is to just, as I said before, make my little brother smile. But I also kind of want to give him that little sense of discovery with uh, that Minecraft gave to all of us. All of us who have played it, of course. Uh, the heck was that? Oh yeah, there's a llama out there. I need to kill that thing later. Uh, but uh, but when I was when I was his age, I played Minecraft in beta. I think it was like beta 1.7.3, and I remember being so absolutely positively amazed. Uh, I should probably I should probably I should probably fix that. Uh, dirt. I need dirt and grass. There we go. Am I being spat at? You know what? Get out of there. I'm not entirely sure uh, what you're referring to, my love. But, uh, I will have none of it. Uh, anyway. What's more... Oh, I did do a Shrek voice. You're absolutely right. Uh, what's more important, however... Is that uh, even though I very much enjoyed uh, Minecraft and having and I had that like sense of just pure discovery, um, you know he's not he's never really had that because he tends to play more uh, like the the old old or the old the the newer like bedrock stuff so like he plays like bed wars stuff like that whereas uh but unfortunately his like survival skills are kind of subpar and i have decided that i'm going to do everything that i can to give him this little sense of discovery uh and I don't know where it will go, because I'm going to be going to university soon. Back to university, I should say. Uh, actually, let me, let me just uh, do that. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, going back to university soon. And I have every intention of continuing to play with him over the, uh, over the semester. But I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, give me just a moment. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I had a visitor. Thankfully, he does not know that I am streaming. That was a weird freaking sound.
Uh, I don't know if I will be playing with him so much uh, over the semester or not. It really just depends on uh, internet, as it seems to always be the case. But if all works out, uh, he's going to have a blast with this. At least I hope he does. <clears throat> but, once I finish remodeling this place and making it look amazing, uh, <clears throat> once I've finished making it look amazing, I plan to go into the village and put some little bits of evidence and stuff in there, you know. Uh, actually, I think I know what I could do with that. Gotta love creative mode. Normally, and I do mean, I do mean this with 100% sincerity. Get the heck out of here. Uh, normally, I would have... I can probably go ahead and get rid of the book. Uh, normally, I wouldn't use creative mode, but the child, or but building something of this scale uh, requires finesse. And as we both know, I have no finesse. Getting rid of that. Let's go. What's what's a block that I could use? Do I want glowstone or do I want sea sea lantern? I kind of want the sea lantern. I'm not gonna lie. This is subject to change, but I may end up doing something along the lines of having that new, like, blue fire that came with the nether update. Like I said, it's not a, it's not a guarantee, but it would be interesting. In fact, it may be something that I end up doing, uh, we'll see. At the moment, that looks a little too futuristic for my tastes. Um, I should probably also do... I should probably also do a ceiling. Or, at the very least, I should make the ceiling stone. But yeah, no, I'm hoping that he'll really enjoy this, just because, like, I always remember when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of the Yogg's cast, and, <clears throat> and, uh, they start, they, they're what got me into Minecraft, but they are also the ones that started doing, like, that Shadow of Israfel stuff, and... At the time, I was like, maybe 10. And I thought that was the coolest shit ever. Simply because, how could, uh... Oh! I have two viewers! This is a miracle. My last stream, I only ever got one, and it was my mother. Jokes aside, uh... Jokes aside, uh, welcome, uh, Milo the Puppy Cat. I have also followed you, uh, I'm sorry I didn't get to see your stream earlier. I was, uh, driving home when you started. Uh, but alas, uh, the build continues. Actually, no, this is a little too, too far. 
Maybe... Yeah, that's better. Uh... Okay... Thank you! I like... Uh... You may not have seen the whole thing. Just to do another quick little flyby of what's going on. Uh, it's a mountain castle. We're doing a dwarfish kind of thing. Except, the dwarves are really smart. Uh... Well... I guess, I guess I'm the dwarf in this situation because I'm the one building it, but, uh, but, but yeah, it's supposed to be like a little mountain castle. I have someone stream on my phone, you hear my game up and a discord call at the same time. This is amazing. Did you just call me short? I'll have you know that... Uh, I am leagues taller than you. Oh wow, you have really good internet. Usually whenever I stream it ends up uh, being like a 10 hour wait for a single for a single reply. But anyway, uh, my wife. That is my wife, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she is attempting to kill me, as the good lord intended. Okay, again, ignore- what the fuck was that? I thought I saw something leak through the ceiling. Am I losing my mind? is that? Oh, whoops. I don't know what I'm seeing. Maybe it's from the lanterns. Anyway, so this is going to be the potion room. Uh, I can probably get rid of these. Perhaps. I could go with a much more arcane feeling to this, though. And I could have some interesting gooch. Soul lanterns actually sound really intriguing. Uh, go to my inventory. Oh, that's awkward. I don't have much of an inventory to begin with. But at least that fits. Okay. Soul Torch. I'll put one right there. Oh, these don't do as well, do they? I mean, that's okay, I suppose. Perhaps I will... Perhaps I will... Anyway, I guess I'll grab my torch again. Okay, yeah. It clearly does much better than... Alrighty, well, with that in mind, I'll go ahead and start building the other room. This one is going to be, like, the little enchantment room. And before anybody says, gives me crap about what I'm doing with it, I promise it's going to... There's there's a lore reason to why this enchantment room is so small. This is the chamber of of uh, accessible knowledge, meaning that there is another chamber that has forbidden knowledge that has yet to be built. Get the fuck out of here, you nasty lanterns. Uh. Random question to my audience. Uh, can I play music without being, like, copyright copyrighted? Or am I, like, gonna get uh, mauled immediately if I decide to do that? 
Just, just a thought, you know. It's not, it's not a, uh, it's not something that has to be done. But I didn't really consider the fact that this is going to be an extremely chill stream, uh, without some form of music. I could go for a biscuit right now. Well, maybe not after those nachos. But thank you for the advice, nonetheless. I shall... I shall not, and I shall do research on it for the next stream. Speaking of, I plan on trying to do this... Uh, at least once a week. Just so... Ah, that's... Frickin' lantern! Uh... I plan on trying to do this at least um, once a week, uh, and I'm hoping to have the castle done by the next by the next stream. Uh, hopefully, anyway. So that's good to go. I can go ahead and get to that. Thank you. Get rid of the prismarine. I need the lanterns. I need all that. I don't need the dirt. Alrighty, so I'll put that down. I'll get some durs. Maybe. Where are the doors? I'm not used to the new creative menu. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm not used to the bedrock creative menu. I need a sign. Ooh, the dark oak sign looks pretty interesting. I'll mess with them later. Where is the doors? Oh, here are the doors. I want something... Yeah, dark oak. Doke, if you will. The fuck is a lodestone? I haven't played this game in a very long time, as one can probably tell. But I am excited nonetheless. Let's go ahead. Oh, whoops, off. Yeah. It's not level at all, but I like I like having double doors. Maybe not for this. Okay. So, go ahead and get some signs. It's a sign! There they are. Man, I am really dumb when it comes to the signs. So this would be the enchantment room. Enchanting table. Let's go. Let's go with that. Enchanting table. It's not an enchantment table because that would suggest that I will be enchanting stuff. Instead, I'm going to be enchanted by the table. Yes. I promise that there that I'm perfectly sane. Let me go ahead and get the rest of the sun. book diamond block thingy. What? Book diamond block thingy. Ah! As much as I enjoy the idea of that for memes, I'm gonna say no to that for now. I keep forgetting that this is like right outside. This is the potion room. Potion. Actually, no, better idea. Potion. Not gonna lie, that scared the ever loving shit out of me. Brewery. Motherfucker. This is supposed to be family friendly! Oh shit. 
February. I appreciate uh, the statement of this. Oh man. Bum 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 creeper. Okay, anyway. No, it's okay. I I take no offense to it. Uh there we go. No, I, I take I take no I take no offense. Also, that wasn't a creeper, that was lightning. Or well I guess I guess technically I guess technically it's thunder. But heck yeah, I'm all I'm all for I'm all for the uh uh Wednesday. Is that motherfucker? Stop that! Am I gonna like? Am I gonna come out there and be smitten? Like what the fuck? Okay, anyway. I can probably go ahead and get rid of the doors, the signs. Now I just need... That is a lava bucket. Excuse me. Aha. The glass. I go with the blue. Mighty Smitey. I've heard good things about that game called Smite. Uh, not something that I myself would personally play, mind you. Oh, shit. See, that's the thing. Like, I've heard good things about it, but, like, I hardly hear anything, like, substantial about the game itself. Oh, shit. how well this will work. Surprisingly well. Although I don't know if I like the blue. I was thinking the blue would make it look a bit weirder, but perhaps... perhaps some regular glass is in order. Glass. Oh, there. I didn't even finish the swear, I just called out for mommy. Okay. Red stained? You, you might be onto something there. It's not it's not a bad idea, let me Oh actually. Oh I like it. See that's not even that's not even uh, Emily making a joke. She just actually wants to murder people. Probably shouldn't say that on the internet. Someone's gonna take that seriously. It's okay. Uh. That's true. That's true. Uh, oh. I, you, you took it, you took it into a much different, uh, you made you made it into something a lot more family friendly that I was gonna go for, so, uh, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, so the idea is that this is this is the room of knowledge, and that's pretty much it. Uh, but more importantly, that's the li this is the library. So this whole place is gonna be filled with books, right? As as most libraries are, but I also plan to have a little piston secret, so a little a little bit of redstone trickery, uh, using the lectern. Now, uh, 
Oh, shite. Shite on a handlebar. I don't even know what that means, laddie. But boy, did it scare the shit out of me. I feel, I feel like, I feel like it's becoming personal now. Okay. Uh. I know it's loud. That's the thing. I turned the sound down before the stream. Or at least I think I did. Maybe I turned the music down. Actually, yeah, that's probably... That's probably what I did. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's better. Now I've got some Minecraft music, and I've got my music back. So, for those of you who don't know, the lectern is not all that it seems. There's a, there's gooch going on in here, behind the scenes. So if I get myself a book, actually, let's do this. You notice that the redstone immediately connects to it, right? So, put a book... Actually, I don't, I can't edit that, I don't think. No, I can't. What am I, what am I doing? Remove book. Get that shit out of here. Okay. Uh. Yes. I plan on doing, I plan on doing exactly that. Uh. Uh. I haven't played Animal Crossing but I really want to. My next game is probably going to be Stardew Valley. Um. Ass. Oh, well, that's fine. So, if you place the book down, uh, nothing will happen. But if, oh, uh, fuck. But if you read, uh, it's not a good way to, it's not a good way to showcase it. Hold on. Uh, piston. That's what I need. If I get a piston and put it right here, and I read... Oh, wait. Huh. And now we witness Wyatt losing his mind as he can't seem to figure out what he did wrong. Okay. Sign. Yes. Sign and close. Okay. Oh, wait, whoops. Didn't get that out of there. Put that down. Now I need my redstone. Okay, so, if you're just on page one, absolutely nothing happens. But if you go out, it will continuously do more. However, I seem to, I seem to remember it being more of a constant situation. I'll work on that later. But the idea is that I want to have something that, like, you have a book, it's got a buttload of, um, it's got a buttload of pages, and, like, you place it on the lectern, and, like, a secret door opens up. And that will lead to, like, the big-ass enchanting room that has all the knowledge Knowledge. Okay. So. That'll be the bat cave. Yes. Actually, I have some uh, dumbass ideas to do something similar to that uh, for later. Now, I don't know exactly if my brother will pick up on it, because I 
highly doubt that he would be like, is that dead center? Yes, that is dead center. Perfect. And then that's also dead center. This is not going to be dead center, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Uh, I can make this one bigger. Well, maybe not. Maybe not exactly right there. This will be where the big shit is. The big sheet. Uh, I need more red stained glass. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that turning the volume down did anything. I just think that, uh, for whatever reason, uh, fucking, uh, uh. Lightning and thunder is just really loud. I don't understand. Okay. This is where things get a little... Oh, this is where things get a little dangerous. Don't try this at home, children. Oh, I fully expect you to. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh, thank god. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, like, have fun. Have fun with your man. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh shit, I'm stuck. It is, actually. I like that. Uh, and then I can go... I can follow it up with... I believe the correct answer that you're looking for is Beth. Yes! takes care of most of the lighting issue. I promise there's a reason that this one's bigger and that one isn't. It's not just because I couldn't get it all where it needed to be. I promise. Motherfucker, could you keep it down? I'm trying to make a video! Mom! Get out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! Get the fuck out of my room! Alrighty, anyway. I think that's one of the things that I'm never gonna get used to about streaming, is that my comments are just... fucking... empty. Uh... Barrel? What does a barrel do? Can I... Oh shit, I didn't know I could store that. New favorite block. Sorry, Cole or Block. Uh, Emily, I think you're pretty skewed. What do you mean? It's not much, but it's honest work. Well, go, see, I quite agree with you. That's what I was looking for, brewing stand. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay. So. 
Enjoy. Small test, but an interesting one nonetheless. So if I take, if I get rid of this, and then I get myself a water bucket, put that right there, put that right there, put that right there, and then right there. Aha! It does work. However... This would be the better way to go. So I can go ahead and get rid of the water bucket, because I don't really need it right now. And then I can go... I promise there's a method to my madness. Question, do barrels link up? They do not. Okay. Actually, that's perfect. What I can do is I can have multiple barrels up along the wall. That's, it's almost kind of like cabinets. That's pretty cool. Maybe I don't need that many. Six should be enough. Uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, also, somehow 68 comments ended up here. Didn't realize that y'all were messaging me so much. Thank you. I'm all. I always enjoy uh, a good set of conversation. Um. Oh, this is specifically for Beth because uh, she didn't see it. I have a little hidey hole. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but I've got it. Um. What else would I want in here? Maybe? They kind of look like cabinets. I might go with that, to be honest. Put 
put something... Ah! I gotta say, I, I, I like, I like, I like what you're thinking. like what you're spouting. Maybe more prismarine? Dark prismarine? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do I have... Are there Prismarine... Same! I've been playing it since I was 10, and I have to say, I have enjoyed every second that it has offered me. Uh, Dark Prismarine stairs. Uh, I can get rid of the barrels. Uh... That is also a possibility. How? No, that's the wrong way. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Nether brick is a possibility, actually. In fact, I would say that I like nether brick is better. You said lapis. Hmm. The lapis looks good. Oh. I think I like the nether brick better, though. Plus, with the nether brick, I can also do something incredibly uh, interesting that I have always wanted to try. Which is, uh, I can, yeah. Although... Maybe that doesn't work so well. Eh, you know what? I like it. Therefore, it shall stay. Hmm. Now I just need to get the rest of what I was going to put in there. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, where is that red nether? And that's nether wart? I didn't realize that nether wart was a block now. Uh, where's nether rack? Well, that's nether rack. What about the other one? Is there not a different type of nether rack? Uh, stripe, uh, nylium, basalt, soul. Is it soul soil that turns blue whenever it's on fire? There's something that turns blue whenever it sets on fire. I don't remember what it is. I'll mess with that later, though. In the meantime, however, I need a an ender chest and then finally another lectern actually fuck it two lecterns one with information well no that's not a good idea hmm Maybe one right here. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's 10.02. That means it's time for my uh, hourly shout-out to my uh, beautiful girlfriend, Emily Cromer. Uh, I love you with all my heart and soul. I shall always love you with all my heart and soul, and I think you're highly beautiful. I can still open this. Hmm. What are the chances that I'm gonna burn this place down uh, to the ground? I 
see how it is. And don't worry, I won't forget. Uh the fact that Oh shit. Okay, I can work with that. Alrighty, so. Okay, so I can go ahead and get rid of that, that, that. Thanks, Emily. Hmm. I actually really want to do that thing with the banner making. Um, actually, fuck. It's real spooky hours. Also, loom. Loom! I don't know what that does. I'm not gonna lie. I have absolutely no idea what that does. Banner. Uh, red. Red, 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 red. Banner. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Okay. Where is the die? Do I control the rate at which the lobster die? I do not know. And I fear I never shall. Aha! Dies. Let's go with white die for now. Let's see how this works. Yeet. Yeet. Wait, maybe not. White snout. Ah. Ah, oh, thank you. I don't know, Emily ha does have wonderful peas. actually what I'm gonna do in there just yet. But I might be able to put some banners in here. Actually De Tassos. Do. 
That's too much. It was fun while it lasted, but that's a little too much. I think that's fine. I like the tassel thing, so I'll keep it there. Can I... Oh. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck did I just do? Okay, so I'll go ahead and get that out of here. I need more door. Use? Oh, okay, I thought it was saying I could use the other thing. But yeah, no, thank you. We adore you too. Blazed terracotta. I kind of want to look at some... Oh, these are the sexy block. But not as sexy as my wife. She is here in the stream, you see. Uh... Okay. So... I guess... I guess the first thing that should be done is making the the room of knowledge and deciding where and how I want to hide it okay well I consider myself to be pretty good with these things, so... What I could do... Ah, oh, there must be a zombie villager. What I could do is I could have... I could have this... A little bit farther back. I need piston. I put that there. That's gonna go on the on the on a floor down. This is the, uh, I don't think you were here whenever I showed it off, but I have a little lectern here, uh, describing, like, what this place is. So, like, my, just to, just to, just to give, like, an idea of what I'm doing, uh, I am basically making it so that whenever my little brother comes in here, uh, for the first time, he's going to see all of this like fantasy stuff and he'll just be absolutely uh for lack of a better word enchanted uh i'm really excited to see how he reacts to that uh but at the same time i don't know how he's gonna react to it so we'll see what happens so, I hope he enjoys it. Uh, now I need to do a little bit of actual redstone gooch. Get rid of the lanterns, I don't need those. I don't need sea lantern either. What I do need is redstone, redstone torch. And... Considering that it's not going to be... Considering that it's not going to be a matter of him... That... Okay, that does put out both. That's what I thought. 
Uh, so what I can do... So I can do... Uh, that. That. Oh, nice! I can put that there. Put that there. Aha! And if I'm not mistaken... Ugh. Whose bones are creaking? there oh oh in the stream I was like wait a minute I don't hear anything and then I realized oh shit I hear everything also does this do what I think it does wait can I hang lanterns from the ceiling hold the phone I can do such sp well This is literally useless right now, but oh, I can use it for later. The things I can do. I don't think I need that anymore, or that, or that for that matter. But I will take some more of these. Yes! would be actually a pretty fun thing to do, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. That could work. And it still works. It's not something that can be seen easily. In fact, I don't think you can see it at all, unless you, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, there it is. Now... Oh, oh. Actually, no, that works. That means I can do this. That there, well, that there.
Oh, well, whoops. Okay, better. Go get clean. Have yourself a fiesta. I don't know where the fuck that voice came from, but enjoy. Okay, so there it is again. What the fuck is falling from the ceiling? Anyway. Alright, so with this all in mind, let me get some more lantern. Actually, what? What about soul lanterns? They do absolutely nothing. But they do kind of look like electrical lights. So I suppose I can let it slide for now. Maybe I don't want to use this. Maybe instead I want... Does a daylight sensor work without sensing daylight? Like is it time based or is it... Does it actually need to be out in the sun? Uh, I'll just leave the blue. I'll just leave the blue. Okay. So. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get this room built. does actually let out quite a bit of light. You know what? I like it. I'll, I'll, it can stay for now. The fuck does the sea pickle do? Emily, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the stream. I have to have some fun with this. Please don't leave the stream. I enjoy your company, even though I cannot hear thee. Oh no, she's left me. Love you too. Actually, put that there, put that there. I can do that. 
that. I need stone stairs. When the time comes for me to actually show this to my little brother, watch him blow it up, like, within the first three minutes. That would be, that would be the point, that would be the point where, like, no one would hear from me for, like, a couple of days. Because I would be so unbelievably torn up inside. can take these So, I need more knowledge. This needs to go out just a little bit more. So we're all clear. Lori me. Okay. So, so I can get rid of that, that, and that. Now I need. Okay, you have a good night's sleep. I love you very much. Okay, so if I put that there. Knowledge. Does more knowledge flow? Turns out I don't actually need this at all.
even now there is more knowledge. Internet connection quality is currently not sufficient to broadcast gameplay. That's quite the conundrum. Uh, and if I end up getting disconnected from my stream, I'm going to be very unhappy. Not with those watching the stream. I can never be mad at them. But I can be mad at literally everything else. like this is going well. So I can go out here, flick that, and suddenly I am in a seemingly normal library. I love it! I have managed to do some really good shit. Now I just have to write all the books, which, oh boy, That's not going to be so fun, I don't think. And not enchanted books. Although I do want to see... Oh my gosh. Impaling. Quick charge. There's a lot of in soul speed. What the fuck? What the fuck, Richard? Okay, anyway. I need signs as well. Uh, signs. These can be birch signs. And then I also need... Actually, I think that's fine. What the fuck's a conduit? Not gonna lie, I have no idea what that is. So therefore, I'm not gonna worry about it. Theory. Bestiary is the right, the right word, right? Bestiary. Here's hoping that that doesn't. That's fine. History. Of. The. Realm. tools and guides. Mystery, history of the realm, useful tools and guides.
I regret nothing. No, I can't. I can't do that. Okay. Anyway. So I've got a bestiary, history of the realm, useful tools and guides, the tale of alternate realities. So that would leave... Ah, actually. Folklore... Classes of the Enlightened. Wait. Of. Nope, no, no. The Enlightened. The Enlightened. Okay. So, now, I've got Gooch. That much can be said. Oh, and just as a heads up, I forgot that uh, apparently all you need to do to get the, uh, the lectern to work as like a it's always on kind of thing, is you need to have, I think, a redstone comparator? I think. Okay, so... What I can do... I'll start with classes. And again, perhaps I should... Actually, no, I need to go ahead and start writing the books.
Oh wow, it's only 1041. I could have sworn this would have. I could have sworn this was gonna take. Uh, this was later. A warrior will typically wield a sword and shield together. Down. Strike down his or her foes. primary goal uh, primary goal is to ensure the safety of their ally Comrades. Comrades sounds better. Sayos. Anyway. <laughs> there. Impenetrable shield. I've got some illagers. Rival by a will of fire. A will of iron.
Hmm. Let's see. Okay, good. I have to go look at Night Limerick. Lumerick, that's what it was. Passivability allows for warriors. To attack. and perish in fear.
Knickerbocker, that's interesting. Knight. Lomarek. Lomarek. Okay. I'm getting there. I need some water. <sighs> Nothing beats a good glass of water. Yeah, I am basically trying to... I'm thinking I'm going to have four or five classes. There's only three people that's going to be playing, including myself. But if I have if I have five to seven class, four to five classes, uh, that gives the option for choice and it'll kind of open up, you know, kind of like a party aesthetic, or a part, uh, yeah, yeah, like a kind of a, I'm trying to go for like a D&D &D party kind of feel, like, uh, my little brother will most likely end up being like the warrior, or like the rogue, or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so... I'm not entirely sure what exactly will happen, but probably he'll end up being like one of the simple classes, and then my uh, my the other occupant will choose. I could see her choosing like the uh, it's my aunt. Uh, I could see her choosing like maybe the ranger class or something, and I would probably end up being like the healer or something. But but yeah.
The nice thing is that I'm only going to have to write a bunch of books once, and I'll probably end up writing the majority of the books on a day that I'm not streaming. Uh, but, uh, Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna stream multiple, multiple times. Um, like I said, I'm probably not going to write all of these books in the stream because then it's just me typing. And that could, I could see that getting annoying for everyone involved. Uh, but, uh, I plan on streaming building this once a week. Maybe, maybe I'll have, like, a surprise stream if there's, like, a time, like, if I have time. Uh, or, you know, in the case of, in the case of Emily, you know, if she's not in a gamey mood, I can do this in my free time. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yeah. But it's gonna have, the castle itself is gonna have, like, two or three floors. Oh, nice. Um, next week, what time do you normally stream? Because next week I'm off on Wednesday, so I could totally watch. Uh, and I think I've got it set to, like, notify me whenever you go online, so I should be able to join. Um, but, uh, but I'm really, I'm really, like, trying to get back into this. I did, uh, I did Slender the Arrival as my first... Just change it to 4.30 to 7. Okay, but, um, I can, I can, I can make that. Ah, I get you. And I understand that, um... Yeah, uh, I'm trying to get back into it, because my first stream was... Nah, you're fine. Uh, my first stream was Slender the Arrival, and while I love Slender the Arrival, uh, I feel like sl I feel like horror games in general have kind of this expectation behind them to where whenever you do stream it, you're either A, going to be giving it, giving your true self, or B, you're going to be jumping at shadows, and I'm not really, I'm not really terrified of, in horror games, uh, like, there are games where, like, that I get freaked out, like, Amnesia is one of them, I haven't played Alien Isolation, but I intend to, and I probably will stream that because I know that one's supposed to be like horrifying. But um I know, like did you see that they announced the third one? Uh I think it's called uh Part of Yeah, look up Look up Amnesia 3. I don't know... Part of me wants to say it's called Rebirth. But I don't think it is. Um, It's supposed to come to PC first, because of course it is. But it's going to come to PS4 and likely uh, to other... Uh, probably Xbox as well. Uh, likely to other consoles and possibly the Switch. I don't know exactly how graphically intense this game's gonna be and I don't know if the Switch can handle it speaking of the Switch there's a chance there's gonna be a Nintendo Direct on Monday I don't know how true that is I hope it's really true because we haven't had a full Direct in a year and I'd very much like to see some leg the, leg the Lelda of Zelda Breath of the Weath 2 Throw the main to either M 
No, that's two. Oh, you haven't played it? Yo! I highly recommend. Like... Like... If... So, so, okay. So... Uh... So... Breath of the Wild is to Skyrim as uh, Red Dead Redemption is to Grand Theft Auto. Like, it's really good. Like, there's so much you can do. Um, you know, because it's a Nintendo game, it's not riddled with bugs. But at the same time, like, they they give you the option to, like, break the game in ways that, like, benefit you. Um, like, I'm sure you've probably seen, like, memes or something where, like, people have, like, frozen, like, these giant boulders and then, like, uh, hit them a bunch so that it, they'll go flying and then they'll just jump on the boulder and boom. It, like, that wasn't something that was intended. I don't, at least I don't think it was. But that's something that's just really cool and amazing. Um, I haven't played it in a while, but, like, I plan on playing it again very soon. It's really good. Sorry, my rant is over. You are fine. Uh Uh Oh, nice. Uh late night Minecraft is always fun. Uh whenever I started playing Minecraft with my aunt on Fridays, like uh I was probably like 10 or 11 um because it because i started playing with her shortly after like the full game came out and we played from seven o'clock at night to like three in the morning and my mom was like you have to go to bed and i was like no empower I feel that and smite the great evils. I never got into TF2. Like I really like I really enjoyed the concept. Um and it was something that like I really wanted to try because um because like all my friends were playing it and by the time by the time that I had a computer that could run it uh all of my friends stopped playing it and at the time I mean I'm still very introverted but like I wasn't the kind of person that would play like with random people at the time. So I was like, well, uh, I guess I'm not doing that. Um, and I kind of got to experience what it may have felt like whenever, uh, Overwatch came out. Cause I played a lot of Overwatch for a while and, uh, had a blast with, with Widowmaker, I think. Widowmaker's the sniper, right? Yeah. Um, I played a lot with her, 
and then uh, Paladins came out, which is basically free to play Overwatch, and Overwatch is basically pay to play TF2. Uh, oh yeah, no, I agree. Like, uh, I love how a few char like a few character introductions from TF2 make up a much more cohesive. Yeah, like it makes like the entire the entire library of like the TF2 character introductions has so much more depth and character development than like all of all of Overwatch lore. Uh and uh like I love first of all like I just absolutely love the crackhead energy that comes from the medic and like the engineer uh, the meme potential of this is a bucket. No. Or wait, no, shit. This is a bucket. Dear God, there's more. No. <laughs> like, I love, I love that. Um, and, yeah. I never played the demo, actually. Uh, like I said, I tried to get into it, and I just really didn't. Um, but of course now, I play... Well, I won't say that I may mostly play... Uh, but teleport bread for... Th <laughs> Oof. Uh, but, uh... Uh, but, like, a lot of the games that I play now are multiplayer games. Speaking of, uh, do you play Left 4 Dead? Because I have that game, and, uh, it's so fun. Uh, in the world. Yeah, I agree. Like, honestly, if, like, if you and or your friend friend group wants to play Left 4 Dead, please let me know, because I will gladly play. Left 4 Dead is one of my favorite games. Uh, and it's so, it's so strange. Uh, heck yeah. Um... I don't know if it I don't know if I'd be able to do it all the time, but yeah, heck yeah. Uh I am all for it. Now if only I could get uh now we just need to get Emily like a piece a uh, a PC that can run games. I love her to death, but Mac is not the way to go. Uh magic. Thanks, thanks. And same. Uh I know, like, you know, I told, I told her that whenever the time comes, I never, I never had a Mac, I always had, uh, I always had, like, PC, honestly, I don't know if I could use a Mac at this stage in my life, because I don't know, it's so different. That was, that was the same case with Emily, because Emily has Minecraft. Uh, well, I bought it for her. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does overheat, or it almost overheats. Um, but, uh, I told Emily that I would gladly, like, build her a PC once we, like, get our own place. Um, now, obviously, I don't think it would happen immediately, because probably we'll be working on financial stuff, but... 
but yeah, no, it, it like, it would be really fun. Oh, I plan to. It's going to be great. How much did that end up costing? If you don't mind me asking. If that's too much information, you don't have to tell me. I'm trying to think of a ballpark number. Okay. I mean, that's not, that's not too bad, to be honest. Like, especially, like, if you have, if you're able to save it up. Like, um, because, like, one of the, one of the things that I really want to play that I'm not sure if I'd be able to play right now is Halo. Like, I can play the first one because that one that one's easy to play and the second one's kind of up in the air because it's got that anniversary edition running in the background um but like all of the halo games i would love to play and i don't know if my laptop could handle it uh oh heck yeah um i think i think overall if if i end up doing it uh, I'll probably end up by getting hers first because I can play a good chunk of things and she can't. <laughs> uh, and there are so many good games on PC that are available. Yeah. And, and you know, laptops, they're going to be so expensive like for gaming laptops anyway because it's just going to be like six thousand dollars for something that might cost seven hundred on a desktop and it's like you know i'm good craft that's true But yeah, no, I'm I'm really I'm really interested in doing that just because uh it would be really cool to like hang out with a buttload of people that I know. I'm glad. It is a bit strange to talk via Twitch chat, but uh if it works, I mean honestly, uh honestly uh, this is the this is the most viewers I've had. I mean, granted, the most view well the most viewers I've had in a single stream. I don't think I've ever had more than two people. Uh, but like, if I'm gonna only have one person in the chat, I'm glad that like I'm able to talk with them. So. Uh... Yeah. Uh feeling familiar.
same. It's, it's, I mean, it's weird in the way that, like, I'm talking to you, like, verbally, but you're, like, typing to me. Uh, but there are, oh, cre yeah, yeah. I don't know if Emily ever told you this, but, like, before she and I started dating, and I was, uh, engrossed in, uh, Tinder, and there was another one that I was into, I think it was Bumble, uh, a lot of people, like, were cringy, uh, to the point where, like, people were asking for my feet, like, pictures of my feet, and obviously, uh, for f $50, I'm just kidding, uh, I did not send pictures of my feet, but, like, the internet is full of cringy and weird people. I know, right? Like, it's, it's very strange. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Ocelot to scare away creepers. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Like one of the one of the things that I've always like I don't want to say understood. But, like, one of the things that I've always kind of, like, had in my mind is that, like, typically it's, like, men who want pictures of, like, girls' feet. I only met one, like, decent person on... I don't know if it was... Like I said, I don't remember if it was Tinder or Bumble. But, like, I only remember meeting one decent person and I found out... Yeah, sorry about she was also like one of those people that like ghosts really badly uh and she was all over the place like uh one day she'd be like hey let's hang out and then the next day it'd be like i have a cat and then the third day she'd be like i don't want to talk to you or anybody else and it was very strange um but everybody else that i met was like i got oh i got catfished uh in a very strange way uh I met someone uh, named Ever Adore, and uh, like her profile picture was like an Asian lady, right? Now, I don't care like what nationality they are, you know, who that person is, but I want them to be who they say they are, um, and. I met up with her, and she ended up being, like, this red-headed white girl, and she was like, yeah, uh, your name's Wyatt, right? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, yeah, my middle name is Wyatt, so it's Ever Adore Wyatt or something, and I was just like, huh, huh. It was not intentional. How does that work? Uh, you don't have to... Yeah, I know, right? Like, it was very strange. Like, I was probably... And it was one of those situations where I was like, I don't know how to... Oh, I get you. I I get what you're saying. I thought I thought what you were saying was like, at some point you ended up with like just an online boyfriend and you had no idea and I was like I don't understand ah uh... I see I've had plenty of experiences like that I had a, I had someone uh I don't think they I don't think they knew who I was. I think like someone had given him the wrong number. But like someone contacted me one day and was like, Hey baby And I was like, Who is this? And they're like, We met uh at the bar last night and I was like, We did not 
and he was like, you can't run, babe. Uh, I have, I have a collar and like a pack of diapers just for you. And I was like, oh, oh, this wasn't, this wasn't just your average everyday bar. This was like some sort of BDSM club or something, some shit. And it, it was weird. I was like, you have the wrong number, my friend. I know, it's it's weird. Yeah, it was, it was very, it was very gross. And I think I ended up blocking his number because I think he kept texting me. But it was very strange. Knowledge. Anything? Is there anything else that the mage needs to have? I get you. You have a great night. I'm actually about to wrap it up as well. Um, I'm gonna finish this book and then I'm gonna head out. But yeah, it was great seeing both of y'all. Uh, thank you. Uh, you have a great night. And I will talk to you some other time. Thanks. Uh, failed. The either mages are able to access the forbidden knowledge. Um, Master Alchemist.
Okay, yeah, that's enough for tonight. Had a blast. There it goes again. I think that with all that's happened, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a lot going on, and I'm excited to see what happens in the near future. It was great being able to stream for everybody. Everybody that showed up, of course. Uh, if anybody gets to see this video in the next week, I hope you enjoy. Hope maybe you learn a, a thing or two. Probably not. Uh, I didn't really get into anything crazy. The only thing I've really done is this little secret room here. And that little bit of redstone work that I did out there. Uh, either way, I hope you all enjoy. And I'll catch you next Wednesday at 9 o'clock at night. Peace.